History and freedom, they are the pillars of St. Philip's Church in Old Salem. When the Emancipation Proclamation was first written, a colonel came to Winston-Salem to announce that emancipation at St. Philip's Church, the Moravian Church in Old Salem. It's the oldest black church in the, in the Southeast. So it was actually read here in what we call Winston-Salem, 1863. An answer to relentless prayers from these pews, but not everyone got the message. Two years later, the last population to learn about that celebration of freedom was in Galveston, Texas on the 19th of June. Therefore, it's called Juneteenth because they were the last community to get the celebration news that indeed they were free. So it's a jubilee time to celebrate, and we've been sort of celebrating every year since then. But to understand why and the purpose of Juneteenth, Forsyth County Commissioner Fleming Elliman says that you must look back and go beyond the food, dancing, and gatherings of Juneteenth celebrations. So he traveled the globe, including a trip to West Africa in 2000 for six weeks, visiting the castles where mothers, fathers, and children were held in deep basements. What I experienced going into those castles on the coast of West Africa, you go through this thing called the door of no return. But beneath that door, it's like a, I call it a subterranean basement. That's a nice way of putting it. It's a big open space where they kept slaves until it was time to ship them to the new world. And when I went in that experience, you look down and you see a little small window on one side, not really a window, an opening on the, all four sides. A small opening like this, the rest of it's completely dark. And around the whole square, it's like an indention for human waste. So when you go in that kind of space, this is what came to my mind. I said, Father, why do we have to go through child slavery? And the answer I got was simply this. You are the answer to your ancestors' prayers. So let's go home and get busy and do what you can to be the best human being you can be and stop making excuses. That was my experience. So to me, there's a personal commitment too. Artist Owen Daniels is passing that on through art with stories of strength beyond freedom like Mary Turner, hunted down by a white mob as she sought justice for her husband who was hung. They decided to kill her. So they chased her out of town. Imagine a 21-year-old woman, seven, eight months pregnant, trying to run. They ain't gonna go very far. They got to this bridge and they um, strung her up and they hung her upside down on the bridge. And when they hung her upside down, she wouldn't die. So they doused her with gasoline and burnt her alive. And before she burnt alive, they cut the baby out and stomped it to death. That's the story of Mary Turner. I wanted her to be so defiant that you could not walk past her and not see her courage. Owen says the ropes that tied Turner did not bind her, a testament of African-American strength worth celebrating and engaging. But if you start looking at the work long enough, like the work that's over my shoulder about Mary Turner, the, the piece of work will start having a conversation with you. And that is what an artist's job is, to create this, converse, this safe space where you can have a conversation. It's not about agreeing or disagreeing. It's not about perception. It's about you having a conversation like we are, and you walk away with the idea that you gain an understanding about yourself. To me, Juneteenth sort of represents a celebration of the human spirit because it's unconquerable. Even coming out of child slavery, at one point, things shifted. And those free persons were able to have a life of their own, independent from that peculiar institution. So if you look at it from that context, you see that it's a celebration for all people. We all aspire to be free in our choices, in our life choices, in our culture choices, in our religious choices. And so that freedom is a basic foundation of our human existence. So it's grown and it's getting more and more celebrations. The city wants to Salem, they clutter the holiday, Greensboro to clutter the holiday. So I expect it to catch on even more so in the future. And tonight, there is a free event hosted by the Arts Council of Winston-Salem and Forsyth County featuring the artwork of Owens Daniels leading up to Juneteenth, as you just saw. The opening reception is from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. tonight. Again, it's free, but it also runs until August 27th if you can't make it out. And we do have a full list of Juneteenth celebrations on our website, WXII12.com.